Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. I have several hundred students in the College of Business right now who are working on doing a feasibility analysis of opening a fitness center in Indianapolis, Indiana. In order to truly be successful in this project, they'll want to analyze their local market but also get a good understanding of who their competitors might be by location in Indianapolis using data that looks just like this. This video is going to show you how to use Simply Map, a market research database, to create maps and get data points for the local market, the local fitness market in Indianapolis. What you learn here in this video can also be applied to, to other consumer markets in the U.S. as well. So here you go. So this is a follow-up from a previous video on how to create uh, data points uh, using the variables in Simply Map to create a standard report or a ranking. In this case, we're going to be looking at uh, how to um, create a map around Indianapolis, Indiana, or any, any location that you choose of, uh, to visually display uh, percent who are interested in, in physical activity or, 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 or are in a fitness program on, on a regular basis. So what we're going to do, uh, we can launch our map wizard here if you want to. Um, I'm actually going to click, or going to do start here and do our variables here. I'm actually going to do recent because we actually um, already have some of those variables from our previous search that we did uh, when we did the ranking in the standard report. So we want to just click on use this variable and we'll close out that. Now if you don't do anything it's going to center like on you know it's going to say no location found or it's going to center on like the center of the the map will be somewhere in Iowa. So we're going to do locations uh, same sort of thing do recent and then here's Indianapolis Indiana and we can use this location there. Um, either one will do fine. Uh, let's just use this location, Indianapolis, Indiana, here. All right, and if we, if we close that, it's going to go in and look at, um, by zip code, Indianapolis, Indiana, um, percent who are interested or who, who have done physical activity programs and do a program three or four days a week. And this is done by zip code. So we can actually zoom in if we want to and look at it on by census track. If you're going to try to really try to zoom in and try to figure out where you want to um, where you want to try to locate your particular uh, business okay now before you do that though, you don't want to base your decision solely on this so what you actually want to do is look and see if there are businesses in the area that might actually be competitors uh, of yours okay so you can actually click on businesses here all right and I'm gonna do a um, I've already done a search here I'm gonna show you how to do a new search I want to create a new business criteria here and we'll call this um, Fitness Centers 2. All right. And we're going to select our attribute. And we're going to do the primary NAICS code here. And we're going to click View Our List here. And so um, the NAICS code for Fitness Center is actually into the 7 1 area for Arts Entertainment. So we click there. And it's actually is under the other amusement and recreation industries. And then you see there's here's one for fitness and recreational sports center. So we want to, we can use this code and then do save here. And then we'll use that as our criteria. Oops, sorry, let's do fitness centers too there. Um, and you can see it actually puts in everywhere on the map that it says that there is a business that is assigned that specific NAICS code for fitness centers. Okay, if you hover over them, it'll give you the list uh, of some of the businesses. Okay, so you can actually uh, see what some of the businesses are. If you would like to, you can, you can obviously uh, drill down further and get closer. And as you get closer, these numbers will get smaller here. So right now we've got, we're showing seven businesses in the same area. And as you get closer, it's got five and one and one. So it kind of breaks it down that way. Okay. So a good way to kind of measure not only the, the interest in physical activity, but also the proximity of that interest to people who actually have, have access to a fitness center or a gym. So your target market, market might be to identify places where, you know, there's a high level, right? Maybe uh, this 24 to 30%. And there may be only one fitness center over there. So it might be a good place to, to look to see if that might be your location for, for doing your, um, your fitness uh, program. If you like, you can actually go over here and under uh, actions here, you can actually make a report from all the businesses here and get a list of all the businesses in a, like a spreadsheet if you want to do that. You can obviously also um, basically uh, export this map as well. 
Uh, you can export the map image as a JPEG or a PDF or a GIF for your um, uh, for your PowerPoint and that sort of thing. So a great way to kind of visually look at um, the the Indianapolis area and to see um, what uh, what businesses are there uh, that are already there in, in an establishment and established by who's potentially using those businesses with who who engages in a physical fitness program, you know, several times a week and that sort of thing. In addition to the data that we've already displayed on the map, under the Simmons local folder, under the variables, there's a physical fitness programs, and you can see where people work out. So if you actually wanted to use something else, if people wanted percent who work out at home uh, versus people who work out at a private club versus YMCA, um, let's say if you want to say, well, people, there's gyms in the area, but people aren't using them, so maybe you want to start a new gym that would attract those people. You can click use this variable there. And so it's going to do the same sort of search there. It's going to change. Um, it will change our, our map a little bit by uh, by the location. So here we have uh, percent who work out at home, right? And you can see this is pretty obvious over here. There's only like one gym in the area, uh, or even over here is pretty high number two. So those might be places you want to concentrate on uh, when you're uh, establishing your your demand scenario for your for your potential business. Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to use the database and how to better understand the fitness uh, center market. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help any way I can. Take care and have a great day.